Welcome back to Marketplace Mastery. Now we are going to talk about renewals. What to do at the end of the year before open enrollment starts. Now you have a book of business and you gotta make sure that you keep it because the reality of it is, now we're starting to find out that our clients are being talked to by different agents, different carriers, everyone and their mom wants a piece of these applications. And what I do every single year is I am the person that follows up with my members, I get all their new information, and we reapply for that new tax credit. So to be honest with you, all of this follow-up procedure starts with the initial call. Because as you're explaining the insurance to them, you should always let them know that these plans are year to year and we always follow up to make sure that your application is always fresh and your subsidy is always up to date so that they know that towards the end of the year to be expecting a phone call or a text message. To be honest with me, it's most likely going to be a text message. Now, when I first only had, you know, 100, 150 members, I used to do everything by hand. So basically, I would get my list of policies and I would go one by one and I would just send a text message that was, you know, was pre-written. But for the most part, I would just change the name. And the purpose of that is just to see, hey, John, I see that your application is still active. I just want to verify that you haven't moved. Your job hasn't changed. And we need to make sure that we have insurance for next year. You'll get a reply back from your clients because they're your clients. And it'll be a simple, yes, my income changed. No, I haven't had any changes. And at that point, I just go right back into the system and make the adjustments. For the most part, unless there's some sort of drastic change, because there will be at times, we just go ahead and make the plan adjustments for the member, put them back in the same plan they had the previous year, unless again there was a problem, or if it happened to be that that particular carrier increased their prices significantly while another carrier came in and lowered their prices, I always wanna give them the option because if you don't, someone's going to. Look at it like that. If you, let's say, have an Ambetter plan and this year Ambetter is $100, then last year was six, but now you have a Molina option and Molina's 14. Um, most people are gonna spend you know, less to get their insurance and more costs down, especially if they're lower income. So the reality of it is you wanna make sure that they're well aware. So as you build your book of business, maybe investing in some sort of automation program would be a better option. It would definitely save you time and if that's the case, all you do is you load your leads into the program and then you can send them one message like you're sending one, but in reality you're sending one to everyone. It would literally take you, I don't know, three minutes to do 5,000 people at that point. When in the past, if you're doing one by one, it's probably one every minute and a half. That's about how long it would take to change the name, adjust the plan, whatever you want to do when it comes down to what you're sending them. But again, you want to reach out with them every single year. What I normally do is I normally call them back as soon as the rates are released. Typically, that's going to be a few weeks before the enrollment starts. So at that point, I can get a jump start on what I need to do. My clients are happy, I'm happy, I can get all my renewals done within the first couple of days of open enrollment, and then from that point on, it's all about making new business, right? Again, as long as you're constantly asking for business, you should have no problems finding it. And the more business you write, the more people are gonna be passing your name out to random people. You're gonna start receiving phones, uh, phone calls from people that you have no idea who they are, who they called from. I got, I got your number from the pharmacist. I got your number at my doctor's office. Fantastic. It's always great to write business. All right, guys. That's about it when it comes to this module. Hope you guys get it. Take care. Peace.